atomic settlement. Real-time cross-border payments does not mean real-time settlement. Let me explain. Project Nexus solves the clearing problem. The sender's bank account is debited. The recipient's bank account is credited instantaneously based on the payment instructions sent through the network. And the recipient can spend the money. But it does not solve the settlement problem. The actual movement of funds between the two banks is not instantaneous. It involves many intermediaries, goes through different ledgers, and takes two to three days to complete. This potentially creates multiple points of failure and definitely higher cost. We want a real-time settlement system that is strong and secure like metal. We want atomic settlement. Atomic settlement is the simultaneous exchange of two linked assets in real time. It eliminates settlement risk, duplicative reconciliation, and the need for large pre-funding accounts. It has benefits not only for retail payments, but also for cross-currency and securities transactions. One of the most promising ways to achieve atomic settlement is through tokenized assets, which can be exchanged simultaneously on a distributed ledger. And this is what MAS has been experimenting with since 2017 through Project Ubin. Project Ubin demonstrated three things. Banks paying one another without going through MAS. Two, decentralized netting of payments while preserving transactional privacy. And three, final settlement and delivery versus payment by tokenizing digital currencies and securities assets so that they could be exchanged simultaneously. The success of Project Ubin paved the way for further collaborations and progress. Partior, which is a joint venture among DBS Bank, JP Morgan, and Tomasek, has used a blockchain-based multi-currency clearing and settlement platform to reduce the settlement time for Singapore dollar and US dollar transactions from days to just minutes. Project Dunbar, a partnership among the BIS Innovation Hub, Reserve Bank of Australia, Bank Negara Malaysia, South Africa Reserve Bank, and the MAS, has built open source distributed ledger platforms for international settlements using wholesale central bank digital currencies, or CBDCs. Now, MAS will be launching Ubin Plus, a global initiative on the cross-border exchange and settlement of foreign currency, the transactions using wholesale CBDCs. It will focus on three areas. One, it will study business models and governance structures where settlement can be performed atomically to improve efficiencies and reduce risks. Two, it will develop standards to support the atomic settlement of currency transactions across, plat across platforms that use distributed ledger technology and non-DLT-based platforms. And three, it will establish policy guidelines for the connection of digital currency infrastructure across borders for better access and participation. Through Ubin Plus, MAS will collaborate with international partners to explore a broader range of atomic settlement solutions. MAS is working with the central banks of France and Switzerland and the BIS Innovation Hub to explore the exchange and settlement of wholesale CBDCs with an automated market maker. What's an automated market maker? Automated market maker will enable the exchange and settlement for more digital assets to be performed automatically smart contract. MAS is also partnering SWIFT to explore different interoperability models to enable instant cross-border payment and settlement across DLT-based systems and existing payment infrastructures.